The Voices of Kentuckiana, hosted by Debbie Crawford. Music by Clay Beverly. Produced by Glenn King. Well, hello. We are here with Andrew Forrester at the Jefferson County City Hall, and he's got some really exciting news. They just came back from the summit at the ABC, which is the America's Best Community Summit, yep. and Madison has some great news. And what is that, Andrew? Well, we were named a finalist in the America's Best Communities competition. We're one of eight communities left after about uh, 350 to 400 communities started out. So we're really honored. We're really excited, and just got just got off the plane and got back. <laughs> to the community and and uh, we're, we're so glad to be bringing this back to Madison. This is great. There's, there's a lot of things that go into this. In order for Madison to even qualify, they have to meet certain criteria to even be in this. And some of that criteria was what? Uh, well, it has to be a rural community. So there was a population limit on the communities that applied. We had to be doing certain things in the community. Then when they cut it down to 50 people, 50 communities, then uh, they gave each of the 50 communities $50,000 right. to come up with a plan and then we showed them our plan and they narrowed it down to 15 that got to go to the summit and now uh, we got to share our plan at the summit and now they've narrowed it down to eight so we have a shot at three million dollars the oh. grand prize two million dollars the second prize or if we would have to settle for third it'd be a million dollars so <laughs> just think what can happen with that little bit of money yeah, exactly. oh my goodness exactly <laughs> that is awesome now this time you actually came back with how much money from the we, eight we files. came back with a hundred thousand dollars from this uh, this trip, so yeah. it was a it was a fantastic trip, and they paid for our our way down our team. Oh, uh, all wow. got to they paid our way, paid for our stay, and so it, America's Best Communities has really been fantastic during this competition for us. That is great. Now, some people don't understand what this means for a community. When you are involved with America's Best Communities, what does that mean as far as tourism and people moving here and looking at us? for you know wanting wanting to live in this area oh yeah well it's extremely important because not only are, are we hoping to get a tourism boost from this we get a, a number of media hits yes. so today just like this interview just like wave three had us we were the headlines on Indi inside Indiana business today yes. And those kind of things are, those are media opportunities that, that money can't buy uh, right. for a community. And so hopefully we'll see a short-term boost in our in our visitors who want to come see right. just what's up with this America's Best Communities thing. Uh, and then more long-term is the fact that this money will help us do some projects right. that will help hopefully attract some visitors and some residents in the long term. Oh. So really the benefits are, are just numerous and uh, and I'm just, I'm so proud for our community mm -hmm. and and really that uh, it goes back to the people the people in the organizations yes. are what makes this possible and I keep saying uh, anybody that asks we've had a great team that, that worked on this together it was uh, myself and Valicia Chris Foley Lindsay Blues from the Chamber of Commerce yes. Linda Lytle from the Visitor Center Matt Worth from JCIDC uh, Whitney White from the Main Street program I think I've, I've named them all Kim Nyberg from yes. the Arts Alliance and it, it took that team and then also all the, the other the community because yes. without the people in this community and the organizations uh, and it's those organizations that are doing the the hard work day in and day out right. that may not even be related people may not think that they're related to tourism but they all help oh, make our community a yes. great place yeah they do you know yeah. and and I think we're really lucky in this region because we have an unusual number of 
the population that volunteer that actually help put together festivals yeah. and you don't hear much complaining at all I no. mean, everybody really enjoys doing it everybody likes to help out and whether it's uh, helping out at the at the voices Southeast voices for children and yes. volunteering there being a voice for the kids that need it helping with a festival helping with um, giving money toward the new cancer center our community is so giving of time and money uh, I'm just so glad to bring this back for for the community right. who, who does so much I mean the, the people here really make it special they they certainly do and you know I know when we're talking about the long-term and short-term effects of this I know as far as myself when we are planning to go on a motorcycle ride with a whole group of people we actually look at those things to see what communities have something special in them and sometimes it might be the 10 best restaurants in Kentucky or the yep. 10 best in Indiana and actually we have the floating one down here that's was actually right. listed as one of the yeah, 10. Yeah, that's right. So that's, that's another right. that's another cap. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> another feather in the cap there. But yeah. you know, there's that's a big thing for people to look at that. Yeah, those are those are short term the little short term bumps that we'll get in yes. tourism and And then and those people will keep coming back. They will. And that's that's what Linda at, at the uh, tourism office always says is you get people to Madison once they're gonna come back. Yes. So it's it's just getting them here. They fall in love with the community, and we've heard it over and over that people come here, they visit, and they say, "Oh, I want to buy a house here, or yes. I want to get a condo, or something." So that's not only helping in the short term with visitors, then but it helps the long, term. long term. Yes. Yeah. Now you won an award while you were there too. Also, not just the money. Yeah. They gave you an award. Yeah. I mean, you? this this is a beautiful award that that we that we won for uh, the city. For the city, and so this is this. This is for Madison, and uh, of course we came back with the hundred thousand dollars as well. And it's uh, and it's hard for me to decide which one's the better one, but I think the I think the money is, is think, probably my favorite. I think the money will actually do more than the, than I, I the think so. award. But, but that looks nice. It's beautiful. Yeah, it looks very nice. Yeah. yeah. It's just like crystal, and yeah, I, I think it's really neat. It's fantastic. I think, and <laughs> Madison's one of eight, so that's right. You know, I, I had someone tell me the other day that. They thought it was really neat that I got to live in the Golden Triangle, and I thought, I thought to myself, what? And I said, what do you mean Golden? They said, you live in the Golden Triangle because you're in between Indianapolis, Cincinnati, and Louisville. And I thought, they're right. You know, yeah. I like that terminology that we yes. live in the Golden Triangle in that yes. in our area. So it is. It's wonderful, and that's something that we can capitalize on going forward. Yes. Because people want to live in a community that they they feel has a high quality of life that's really good for their kids and families. Yes. And so we are going to see, I think, more of those people going to places like Madison and yes. maybe they just have to commute uh, one day a week or something because you can work at home you've we've got that technology now. yes so people are going to choose a place to live and uh, we think that they'll choose Madison well we hope they do anyway yeah that's right that's <laughs> so, right well do we have anything else to tell people that they can maybe help with this because this is continuing on you got yes. another year yeah that we have to work through yeah we've got another 11 months and so we've already been asked how do we get involved yes there'll be more information coming out very soon about how you can get involved and how you can sign up for more information and there'll be a number of ways that will engage the public as we move forward um, so look for that coming out very soon but a couple of those include uh, a hike in hand day another yes. one of those yes. uh, we have a plan for this Saturday but I'm going to tell you it's looking like a rain out so we may have to reschedule it right. uh, for another couple weeks so stay tuned for that we'll right. get a date for you very soon um, but you can do something like that there's also gonna be ways that we engage the community through a 30 million steps challenge that's another thing that that we talked about and then uh, of course the work on Hatcher Hill and yes. Mulberry Street will be coming very soon and that's what that hundred thousand dollars is going to go toward so uh, hopefully you'll see a lot of fun things and uh, right now just go to America americasbestcommunities.com right. or you can go to the city of madison facebook page um, or the america's best communities facebook page we're gonna have the information out there and if all else fails give me a call and i'll be able to to help you know where you can help out right well that is just wonderful andrew now do we need to tell it anything else to make sure they know what to do here uh i really i just want to say thank you to the sponsors of the contest uh yeah. the sponsors uh they they all banded together to make this a 10 million dollar prize competition um so we've already we've already seen a little bit of that money but we're hoping to go for that three million yes. um but the sponsors are frontier communications dish network the web channel CoBank and our uh, community sponsor was DST systems right so uh, they all chipped in money toward this competition oh. helped make it possible wow. so 
we're just so proud to be a part of it and excited and uh and we're gonna take a day to celebrate and then we're gonna get back on it yes. and uh it'll be a packed 11 months because we we need to show what we've got over the next 11 months right. and we're gonna need the community to step up as well so that we can win three million dollars oh my goodness and i know they're up to the challenge oh they are <laughs> but they just need to know what direction to go in that's so right we'll make that's sure right. that they uh watch the facebook page or the that's website right. and keep in contact and of course you're going to put out news releases and bulletins oh, yeah. and yep. so they'll you'll see them yeah something out, so. something will be coming out hopefully in detail sometime next week uh the first week in may so oh, we'll yeah. get it rolling and and hopefully everybody in the community can be involved and right now just be just continue to be proud uh to be a part of madison yes. and uh this wonderful community and uh just just keep sharing all the good stuff that you're doing. That's great, that's great. Well, like Andrew said, you need to pay attention to what's going on with the Facebook pages and the website so you can know what you can do and be involved. And by all means, be involved in your community, make a difference. This is Debbie Crawford. Thanks for watching.